and welcome back to the unboxers and today we have for you Dracula yes, something really cool and it is actually a transformer believe it or not sorry I'm a little we're a little crooked here all right whoa very cool so this is oh a Takara Tomy and Hasbro looks yes. like a combo there um, and it's Draculus? Yeah, actually, it's Draculus is the... <laughs> so he's, um... You know, it's... I've never seen them do... A like crossover a, like, like a crossover that. between Transformers and Universal Monsters. So hopefully this is the first of many, because I really do love Universal Monsters. So um, that's really cool on the side. It looks like a VHS tape. Oh, yeah, it does! Um, it has the Dracula 90th anniversary. That's cool. It's hard to believe. And the little like thing almost is broken out old. so they can't yeah. record over it. Um, so then there is the oh, back. There's the back. So you have the robot version, and apparently he transforms into a bat. So Oh, very cool. And Dracula version, looks like. Yeah, what yeah, I think it think? actually, um, this is kind of cool. Oh, it actually da -da. will reveal. Whoa. So I guess there's like the, the cape down there. You will yeah. actually get a better look at it in just a second, but. Yeah, this wow. should be really interesting. He looks really cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get Dracula, Draculus, Draculus, out of his box and give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. All right, and there's Draculus. Yes. He looks really cool. So one thing we noticed about the box. Oh, yeah. As um, we're opening it. Other way. It does oh. have. Oh, there it is. It ah! looks like a the VHS <laughs> tape <laughs> coming out of it. That. that is really cool. That is really, really cool packaging. Awesome. All right, so let's take a look. We're going to take a look at him, and then we're going to transform him into the bat. The bat. Right? Or John Will. <clears throat> well, it might be a group effort. So there's the transform facial sculpt of Draculus. Draculus. Um, he has really cool wings on the back here. I see that these already will move. So this must be part of the transforming part of it. <clears throat> look at his um his suit. Coat yeah, I love that. It's got like the, um, like the tuxedo mm. look. Yeah, that, 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 um, the vest and the shirt under there. Um, and then there's his feet. Here's his hands, which are really cool. Seeing if it's, so it's, his hand's going to stay in that position. This one is, oh, in the same position, but it will grip his weapons. He has this on this side of the arm, which will actually, like, pivot out, which is kind of cool. And then there's his weapon on this side. Let's take a look at this cape. So he's got this cloth cape, and it's got slits in it. So um, depending on which, what he's transformed into, it can fit. Oh, oh there's his bat head. Hidden bat head on his back. <laughs> but um, looks pretty cool. And then he's got all of these, which are going to, of course, tra help transform him into the bat version. But he looks really cool. So is there anything you want to show off in this form? Um, I mean, I can show off like the, you know, I guess our, how articulated it is. I was gonna say he does have <clears throat> never fear. Luckily, in case you're intimidated by the transformers, <laughs> it does have like step by step instructions. instructions on how to get him from robot to bat form. So. Yes. All right. Um, so, so I mean, basically, he's got he's got a lot of parts that move. Yeah, I'm gonna sure. Hey, I'm sure he does have a lot, quite a bit. But yeah, so he does have. You can, you know, it looks like it's probably like a ball joint at the top because he can go back and forth, like, back, um, you know, tilt and everything. He's going to have the, you know, the sh obviously the shoulder articulation, um, the elbow. Uh, let's see. I don't think it has a wrist because it looks like the wrists are going to fold up into the arms to transform him. Um, he does have waist articulation. Um, of course, hips, uh, knees, and ankles. So, um, very cool. Quite, uh, quite well articulated, especially for, um, you know, for something that's going to turn into something else. So, yeah, we will see how that uh, affects the articulation when he becomes a bat. I think this is really cool because of you know I've seen the foods and the you know of course the vehicles and all that. Right. But to cross over these two um, worlds, I think he looks really cool. It really does look cool. All right, it's time to go into bat form. Okay, so here's the bat version of Dracula. Dracula, yes. 
So, um, you want to tell us a difficulty level? What do you think? Um, no, it really wasn't difficult. Um, I mean, I, you know, it is like with the with a lot of the transformers. It's a lot of little steps, um, but that lead into a really um, cool transformation. But yeah, not really that difficult. And then does this? This is just like translucent red, but does it glow? Does it pop open or anything? Um, it does open. Uh huh. Um, I'm guessing this is supposed to be like, because I thought maybe it was um, if I can get it open, uh, I thought maybe the head tucked into it, but oh. it, but it it doesn't. So I don't know if like that's supposed to be like maybe where a pilot sits, like oh, if huh. it was a, or I don't know. I'm not sure what, what's supposed cool. to go in there. Yeah, it's pretty cool that it does or that. Energon or something. I'm not sure. And then he's got the cape goes across the back for bat wings. Whoa, he's got a bat tail. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Um, anything I'm missing that you wanted to point out? Um, no, I mean, you can, like, I'm not sure that I'm, you know, this is kind of, I guess it does kind of hide the other head back there. Uh -huh. But, like, you know, this just kind of, like, drapes over. Mm -hmm. There's, like, there's, like, the, uh, there's two, the um, two little holes. Oh, yeah. In here, so you can you can always do it without the the fabric if uh -huh. you want. Um, it looks just as cool without um, the fabric. Um, but um, I like that metallic that, red inside of it. Yeah, this is a really cool cool one. I'm hoping it is like the first of many because yes, um, I like the fact that they kind of combine the Transformers and the Universal Monsters. Yes, yeah, so he looks awesome. So our first one of uh, looks like a crossover perhaps between Universal Monsters and Transformers. We are hoping. So thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.